Amid the lush jungle of the mountain Pine Ridge is the picturesque Upper Barton Creek. It is home to part of a cave system that provides ample recreational and tourism opportunities for many visitors to the area. But there is a brewing war of words between neighbors living in the area, and it all surrounds this a dam restoration project being carried out by Ian Anderson, an entrepreneur who has invested over a quarter of a century in Belize's ecotourism sector. One of the um, uh, most interesting aspects of this property when I was looking to buy it two years ago uh, was that there was an old deteriorated dam that had been built, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago by previous owners two generations before my purchase. And um, uh, I thought it was just wonderful, uh, the idea of rebuilding an historic dam and modernizing it and turning it into something that we could use today that had been built decades ago. Um, I didn't ever think that there would be any issue on rebuilding an existing structure that was already there and modernizing it. Um, but obviously we're here talking, so there has been an issue made of it. That issue was first raised by Karina Tyler, whose property is just downstream from where the restoration project is taking place. Tyler took to the airwaves late last year, concerned for what she says is the big environmental damage that is being done to the area. Um, when I came back from the United States around the end of July, I found out that there was a lot of work going on and I saw one of the uh, equipment operators that was coming back down here from Esperanza a lot. I heard rumors that there was a dam and a big water mill being built. And I guess it was in um, the beginning of November, maybe end of October. I decided to go back there because I heard more stories and I walked down Queen's Ribbon. And the whole river's been diverted. It's all been diverted to the left. Well, if I'm looking... The, the west has been moved to the east. But that assertion, first made by Tyler at the end of last year, is being fiercely denied by Anderson. During the restoration process, did at any time um, yourself or your workers divert the natural flow of this river? Well, Patrick, you know, I think I, I, I need to actually ask you that same question in turn because you have walked with me the entire length from the cave opening down to and past our dam. Um, and I would, so I'd like to ask you, have you seen with your own eyes as an investigative reporter any, any evidence at all of this, this river being diverted in any way, way shape, shape or form at all from its original footprint? footprint? I can, I can tell, tell you that I have not seen that ever. ever. Well, well, then, then I, I think that answers your question. question. Anderson says that watermarks on the rock formations in the area are ample evidence that no new dam has been built on the river for decades, and he's being backed up by another of his neighbors, businessman Mike Bogart. Ian's property is next door. He's a good neighbor. I'm so thankful to have a good neighbor. Uh, for years, I've had some problems with uh, certain ladies, a lady down the road that's a neighbor. Sorry, that word is not incorrect. It see, appears she appears to be incorrect in, in my opinion. I'll use in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we're you know, he's just a good neighbor. He, he's we're we're doing nothing together with the creeks or the dams or any diversion whatsoever. I know people who have been swimming there for years. There was never a dam. That dam was built sometime between April and July. And that is a fact. I mean, it might have had a little bit of starting before April, but nothing. It's. But they say whatever they want, don't they? Anderson believes that this latest accusation, which he believes is spearheaded by his neighbor, is part of an ongoing campaign of sustained harassment, which he just wants to stop so that they can coexist in peace and harmony. We have a neighbor that has historically, since they arrived in the country over 10 years ago, done nothing but continually harass their neighbors uh, for the last 10 years. And when I moved into the valley about a year and a half ago, this neighbor took issue with anything I did and has been um, uh, constantly 
placing police reports against me and my workers and harassing us, claiming that portions of my property were hers. We've actually had two different surveyors come out to resurvey our service, uh, our survey lines at a great expense to, to ensure that in fact the survey lines were our boundary and not hers. I had said to her two different times that if there had been a mistake and if the property lines were in the wrong location, we would immediately move them back to the property, uh, to the proper location. But of course, that didn't satisfy her at all. And um, you know, just even the last two months, uh, she's put in many, many police reports, all false, including this report that was done by Plus TV. Um, I, I hope that uh, as part of this investigation, that you'll actually try locating dry river beds and fish die-offs and rerouting of rivers, all the allegations that she, that, that, that she made. Matter of fact, uh, the Department of Environment was out here and, and they were questioning themselves where the river diversion was and they couldn't find one either. So uh, this isn't a figment of someone's imagination. This is a malicious attack against what, what I've always considered for 25 years has been a good name of Ian Anderson, working with ecotourism in the country, developing tourism in the country, um, working very, very, very hard at, at trying to, to build a name for Belize. And, um, and, and I take uh, uh, quite, a, quite a strong objection to our neighbor and Plus TV publishing, you know, three weeks in a row the same report. Mike, what is it going to take for you all to live as neighbors, to coexist in harmony behind here? We have tried numerous times to coexist with her. I built a road to the back of my farm so I don't even have to go by her farm. I don't have to see her. I don't have to talk to her. I don't have to do anything. And uh, that doesn't work. She finds reasons. Um, David Johansson, a neighbor who lived next door, tried to coexist, come down here many times and tried to convince me to be really nice and let's just go out of our way to be super nice. Well, you go talk to David Johansson today, he won't even talk to you about Karina Tyler. Mm -hmm. He's had to move away. Everybody's been moving away. My next door neighbor, Ian, has a lot of problems because he's just there. 